my most unique and innovative devices. Here we have the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2, the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, and the LG Wing. These are my most unique and innovative devices. Now, I've had a lot of devices over the years. I mean, a lot of them, probably close to 40 different devices. And I love them all, and they were all unique in their own special way. But out of all of those ones I've had, these are the most unique and most innovative. Now, normally the Note 20 Ultra would be here too because of the S Pen. But I don't know. I mean, that's, that's innovative as far as the S Pen and what it could do because it's a Bluetooth S Pen. But I'm actually using <laughs> uh, the, Note, the Note 20 Ultra to shoot this video. So it couldn't be in this one. But that phone is unique too. But the, these three here, as far as I'm concerned, are a little more unique and more innovative than the Note 20 Ultra. So that's why I have these three here. And I'm going to get into the reason why these three are so unique and innovative now most of you that are familiar with smartphones and you're heavily into the tech game you already know probably know why these three devices are so unique but i'm gonna start out with the z fold 2 and i'm gonna try to make this video as quickly as possible so please bear with me now do me a favor if you can please hit that like button and if you like the video if you don't like it then i don't expect you to hit that like button but also consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this in the future. Okay? All right, I appreciate that. All right, first, let's start off with the Z Fold 2. Now, the first thing that makes this Z Fold 2 unique is that we all know that this is uh, Samsung's, uh, one of Samsung's foldable devices. Now, it's their second attempt at a de uh, foldable device. Now, the first one was the, was the Fold. And then with the second one here, they called it the Z Fold two now what makes this one so unique is first let's start out with the 6.4 inch cover display so it's more narrow than your average uh device and some people like it some people don't because people are so used to a regular candy bar style phone that has a wider display but this has a narrow display and it can be kind of helpful in some ways like especially if you're um you know, if you're just trying to use the front display and you want to say you want to hit seek, get to all your, you know, all your apps, you can easily do that because the screen is so narrow. So that makes it easy now when people are, say, when you're doing typing and stuff, a lot of times this might not be big enough. But for me, it is because I don't have really huge uh, fingers. So that's cool with me as far as that's concerned. But the reason this is unique because the fold the phone folds. Now you first start off with this uh, outer cover display, which is six four point in, uh, six point four inches. Then when you open it up, seven point six inches of nothing to me but glory. I mean this display is beautiful. And you know what else I like about this device? You get two different lock screens now let me show you this is the first one okay then when you open this up i have a totally different lock screen and i'm gonna show you see that let me get rid of these get rid of these uh sorry about that get rid of these notifications so you can really see it this is my inner uh lock screen as you can see they're both different you have this one, which is Samsung's, um, you know, dynamic lock screen wallpapers. And of course, when you open it up, you get a different one. Now, you, the thing I also like about this, you have your always on display on the cover. And you also have your always, your always on display in the inner. So you have two, two always on displays. So I like that. Now, let me show you the next thing that makes this so unique is the continuation of apps. So say if I'm going to go into YouTube and I want to watch YouTube on the smaller display, that's all I got to do is close it, continue. Then when I want to go back to looking at it bigger, it goes right back to it bigger. 
So I like that continuation of apps and you can do it with the majority of the apps that comes on the device. Next thing is the flex mode. Now I love flex mode. Let me turn the volume down. Well, I don't have to turn the volume down since I already have it on the video. Let me uh, get rid of that. And you turn it like this. Sorry. Turn it like that. So you can still see the video. But say if you want to uh, answer comments in the comment section, you can just do that. Here come your keyboard. You can just do that right down here at the bottom. They call this flex mode. So it's cool. You can respond. Now, it usually comes down a little further than that. I'm not sure why it... Uh, let me see. Let me see. All right, hold on a second. Hold on one second. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Let me t put the volume down. I don't want to get no issues. All right. Turn on. Switch it like that. Okay. Then you say you want to leave a comment or you want to read the comments. You can read the comments this way. And you can still watch the video. Then if you want to comment, you can do that. Boom, 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 boom. And then you're done. So I like I like that uh, flex mode. And you can, of course, you can watch movies like this in flex mode. So let me see. Pull up something. Uh, yep, this is what I want. Okay. So let me get it started. Now see? Watching a movie. I got my other controls down here. So if I want to raise the volume or if I want to make it brighter or if I want to make it um, screenshot which is what I just did or if I need to check my notifications this is flex mode I love that this is cool alrighty so I love that and you can see how beautiful display look you can't see the crease unless you put it in direct light you're just looking at it dead on and you see you could take up the whole screen now, I have it in crop because that's what I prefer because I want to see the whole screen. I don't want no bezels. I don't want no black marks, nothing. The little punch hole camera, you could barely see it. But th this is the way I like to look at all of my, um, you know, videos and movies and things like that. So I love that. And like you said, close it. Continues to play. And also, I fulfilled to mention, you can set it up like this where you can watch it like this, like a little stand. Or you could turn it around and set it up like this, like a little stand. So flex mode and this hinge is what makes this phone so unique, and I love it. I really do. All right, let me get rid of start. I'm I'm definitely a trekkie, y'all. In case you didn't know. All right. Now the next thing is the multitasking capabilities of this device, which are pretty great. I love it. I don't use it a whole lot, but I like the fact that you can you know you can have fun with this uh, as far as using multitasking it's a lot of fun okay so let me see I got you let me see and let me get see what I want to use here I use eBay so you know you start out with the two so I got eBay down here got YouTube up here I can change the configuration can swap them over like this now this is the configuration I use in my car say if I'm traveling and I'm, I need to use the maps on this side and I want to listen to YouTube videos I'll have it in in this configuration I don't particularly like now you can switch them and of course you can put it back like this now I prefer it the other way I prefer it not this way <laughs> sorry about that let me see What's that configuration? Yeah, I prefer I, I prefer this configuration. But even in that, you can still take another one. I'm going to go back to the other way. Let me see. Pull out something else. Say I want to pull out maps. I could drag it up there. So now I got three working at the same time. I got my Google Maps. I got uh, eBay. And I got my YouTube down here okay that's cool now I could even do a fourth one I could do a floating one so I want to use Facebook I come right in the middle 
It has four apps open at the same time. They all work as you can see. No problems at all. That's multitasking at its best. I love that. Okay? Love this. And you can move this around. Okay? Love that. So the multitasking capabilities of this of this device is great. And the last thing that makes this unique and innovative too is the Samsung DeX. When you can go in here and then hook it up to a your t smart TV, smart board, your computer, and get a desktop experience. Samsung DeX is so awesome. I love Samsung DeX. So those are all, all the reasons why this is such a unique and innovative device to me. Next, let's talk about the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. Now, this is one of my favorite devices, period. I mean, I just love this device. But the first thing I want to start off is that this device has a ceramic back. Now, ceramic feels so good. It feels a little different than glass. But I, this is the only phone that I have that has cer a ceramic back on it. And I absolutely love that. It feels, without a case, this phone feels so premium in the hand. It really does. Um, now, only reason why I can't use it on a regular basis without a case because <laughs> I love the ceramic feeling, but the phone has a glossy back, so it's super slippery. It's like holding a bar of soap, you know, that's wet in your hand. So I cannot navigate this device without a case. So I have to use a case, but I love that ceramic back that's on it. So I love that. Next thing is the 67 watt wired and wireless charging that's on here. Now, by far, this is the fastest battery charging, uh, fastest battery charging device that I have out of all the devices that I have now and that I've ever had. I've never had anything that charged this fast. 67 watt wired and wireless charging. So I can basically charge this phone if I plug it in from zero to 100% in 36 minutes. 36 minutes, seriously and wirelessly from zero to 100% in 39 minutes. That's what I'm talking about. Now this deserves that name Ultra. And not only that, you get 10 watt reverse wireless charging, unlike the Note 20 Ultra, the S21 Ultra, and the S22 Ultra, that's only 4.5 watts. And they all call themselves Ultra phones. No, 10 watts reverse wireless charging on this device here. That's ultra, not 4.5 watts. And on Samsung's devices, 45 watt wired charging, 25 watt wired charging. No, that's nothing ultra about those. This is ultra. This is the definition of an ultra device. Now, the next thing is second space. Now, basically, it's like having two phones in one. I'll show you that really quick. Go to special features and you go to second space. And I just got to put put my code in and you'll see them switch got it now as you can see you have a totally different home screen so basically having two phones in one so if, I, if, if somebody want to check out my phone and everything I can go to second space I don't have nothing open in here I don't have nothing no sensitive material in here they can check it out use it whatever then when I'm done Close it, use my fingerprint. Now I'm back to my original. So I love second space. Next thing, this phone, as you can see on the back, has a 120 times zoom capability on the camera. <laughs> I don't have anything that can zoom in that far. Now I've had stuff that was a 100 times zoom, like my S20 Ultra, that I no longer have. I gave that to my wife. And I did have the S21 Ultra for a short time. That's 100, but this is 120 times zoom. Next thing is the IR Blaster. Now, this is one of my favorite features on this device. As you can see, I got four TVs already paired up, but it's not only for TVs. As you can see, you go in here and this has the capability to be used with a multitude of things, okay? Your top box, your AC, fan, smart box, AV, AV receiver, DVD player, projector, um, satellite TV, camera, light bulb, air purifier, and water heater. 
So I love the universal remote control. Samsung used to have stuff like that, but an LG and they both removed them from their devices. And next is the rear display. Now, some people think this is a gimmick. Trust me when I tell you, this is not a gimmick. There's nothing gimmick about this. As you can see, you can see the time, the date, the day, and the battery percentage. But let's go into rear display really quick. So you scroll down here, let me find rear display. Now, let me see, get in here. You can double tap to wake it. Now it's only gonna stay awake uh, for 30 seconds, which I don't like. I wish that's something they would change with a software update where I could keep it on as long as I want. But it's only good for 30 seconds. That's the longest you can keep it on for. You can receive your notifications. You double tap to wake it up and um, it'll turn off after 30 seconds. Now, the, the, not only can it do that, think about this. This thing you can receive notifications, text messages too. You can answer and reject phone calls and you can control your media. Now, let me um, go back to, let me say, turn the volume down real quick so I don't have no issues. I'm going to go to my Spotify and I'm going to play something. Make sure it's playing. Okay, it's playing. So I'm going to stop it. So I'm going to go back to my rear display. And I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to swipe up. See that? Now it's playing again. I can't let you see it. But it's playing. As you can see that play thing there. Now I think it's loading up uh, the stuff that's on there. But like you said, you can control that. Now you could also sometimes see the artwork but um, for some reason it's not showing it but you can also see the artwork on it as you can see pause and play and you can use this to go to the neck okay there it is see that's the artwork right there so you can go forward you can go back and then you press that to stop it and start it so it's not just sitting there just to look cute <laughs> alright so back to this so now as you can see you come into the actual app you can use a clock. You can use a signature, which I put this in there. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Also, I decided one time to use an image of me. Okay, you can use different colors. If you're going to use different, uh, use text, you can use all these different types of colors if you want. Go back to the clock. You can change the color of the clock. You can change clock styles. You can uh, change colors automatically, how they just keep changing. You can see your battery and your notifications. And also, you think it's just good for that? Oh, no. We go a little further. You can even, let me see. Where is it? Uh, right here. See this little button right here when you go into the photos? You click on that. See, rear display preview. Now you can see the rear camera. Okay, so not only does you can use this for photos, but you could shoot up to 8K video with this rear dis with this rear display. Okay, yes, y'all heard me correct. You could shoot up to 8K video with that rear display. How? Okay, let me show you. If you don't believe me, go back into this. I'm gonna go back to video. I'm going to go to the rear display. I'm going to hit up here. See it says 4K right there? 4K at 60. Now if it couldn't do that, it wouldn't be there. <laughs> now let me go to 8K. 8K at 24 frames per second. So, and that's with the rear display on, as you can see. So it could shoot up to 8K with that rear display. That's awesome. Oh. And the next thing is the multicam. Now this multicam here, this thing is just crazy. I love this. Look at all of these. You got six different cameras, right? So what you want to do, if you want to pair two together, say you want to pair this one and that one. So you just put highlight both of them. You press this button here. There you go. <laughs> that's me behind the camera. So that's multicam. I love that. <laughs> so that's what makes this device so unique and innovative to me. 
And the thing that um, Xiaomi did that I don't like was the the twelve S Ultra. They took away that 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 um this display, and I think that was a bad move. I really do, because that's what made makes this phone so unique and made it stand out. Is that no other phone on the market has a rear display like that? That's so functional. Like it's not just sitting there to be cute. It's highly functional. <clears throat> All right, now let's talk about this LG Wing, which has been out for a couple of years now. Love this device. As you can see, how bright that always on display is. I love it. Me and my baby there. Now, this device, let me take this case off really quick so you can see it. You know, it reminds me so much of the Note 20 Ultra, you know, with the design of it. But man, when you feel this in your hand, it feels so super premium. It feel, the build quality on this thing is so awesome. I love it. But that's not what makes it so unique. What makes it so unique is this. <laughs> this is what makes it so unique. This is what makes it so unique. The rotating display. There ain't no other phone right now on the market like this. And it's a shame that LG is no longer around because they kept Samsung somewhat honest and kept them um, from doing certain things because of the competition. But now that they're gone, Samsung is, all, is just giving us very, very little every year and keep taking away stuff. But this is what makes this uh, phone so unique. And I love it. The multitasking capabilities are just crazy. Let me just give you an idea. I'm going to go into that uh, eBay, then I'm going to go up, then I'm going to go to something else, say YouTube, go to multi-window. So now, and go back to eBay. So now I got um, YouTube and I got eBay. Then with the screen down here, say if I want to go into Prime Video. Now I got Prime Video going. Now look, three apps going at the same time, but on a bigger on a bigger scale you you gotta love that i mean i could play this let me let me stop that you got ebay and you got prime video i mean this is just freaking awesome i i love this device i love this okay so multitasking capabilities is crazy <laughs> so you can take that off and just swipe now not only that but think about this y'all so you swipe down here you can take this and use this as a mouse. See that? See that little mouse there? Then you go on here and say you want to open up eBay. Just click on it. Opens it right up. So you don't have to use your finger up there. You just use this mouse. Okay? Now, I'm going to go back. So say, let me see. How do I go? Okay. I'm trying. Now, I'm still playing with this thing. But I, but I, I mean, I just, I absolutely love this thing. You can use to scroll down. Okay. So now say if i want to go back get it back i just bring it down here and then go back to this again so say let me see um what was it i was doing so say you figure how do i get these to move so this down here is slides so you just put the um the mouse on it and just slide and when you get to something you want you just click on it and it opens it right up See, that's all you got to do. And you want to come out of that. So you want to bring it back down. You could bring it back down to the screen. Or say you want to bring it back down. Yep, there you go. Bring it back down there. Close that up. Let me see. Bring it back down. Okay, and bring everything down to the screen. So it's just so many different ways you can play with this thing. It's a lot of fun. Now, you could also say if you wanted to watch... A, um, a movie or something and say you let me see you put it on MX player but I got to turn the volume down because I don't want to get any problems with anybody let me see where that volume at okay now you can control the actually control the volume down here too just yeah right here so I'm going to turn the volume all the way down and let me see, I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to click over here. 
We could go to Star Trek. See, I'm going to click on that. Whoa. I thought I put the volume already down. <laughs> okay. I thought I did. Yeah, I thought the volume was already down. But anyway, as you can see, got the Star Trek going up here. All right. Now, what was I showing you? I think I lost. Okay. I say you want to watch it. Okay. Let me turn this volume all the way down so I don't have any problem. So say I'm playing that, right? So you got this down here lit up. So what you do, you scroll down, you press this. Now you could get your notifications. You see the time, the date, the battery percentage and everything. But you hold the phone like this. So now your hands are not in the way. So all you can, and then you could just sit there and enjoy your content and just hold it like this instead of, you know how you normally will hold the phone like this? No, that's why you got this, this, uh, this gimbal mode. Now you can just hold it like this and hold it comfortable all the way to nice and balanced. Then when you want to come out of that, just turn off, turn it off. Give me, a, I don't usually use this without a case, so it's kind of hard to handle. And then say you want to bring that down. You can bring that down here. Get rid of this. Bring that down here and then go back to the home page. It takes that back to the home page. Now I could do a lot more than that. I'm just trying to be uh, quick about it. Also, when you go on the camera, you have this gimbal mode. See, you got gimbal mode. So you can basically have the camera move like this, left to right, side to side, down. So you got gimbal mode. You can use that for video. You got all these other things around here. You got time lapse. And also you got um, dual recording. You got that too. So I just love I just love this device. It's so unique. You got a beautiful 1080p full HD PO LED display. You got no, you got very thin bezel at the top and the bottom, none on the side. It's a beautiful display. It has nice, good weight to it. You know, it has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, but it feels good. It feels really good. It feels super premium in the hand. And that's what makes it so unique. Let me, let me show you again. You have this and you flip it up like that. You do this in front of people, they're going to be like, this is an eye. This is one of them um, things where people see you do that. They're going to know what kind of phone this is. Because you're not going to see hardly anybody walking around with a device like this. I know of no one that has this device except me on my job. And I work with well over 300 employees. No one. I don't even see anybody on the street with anything like this. So if you want to be unique, you want to stand out, this is the device to get. And keep in mind... Only thing that hurts this phone to me the most is only one down firing speaker. LG really should have put dual firing speakers on this. It would have gave it a more immersive um, experience when, when looking at media. And the one down firing speaker is okay, but it just it's just okay. It really takes away from the experience of this. When you flip it like that and you got both ends firing like that on the side or firing at the top and one at the bottom. It just gives you a whole different experience. And it's a shame that they didn't um, they didn't think to do that. And that's very disappointing. But of course, boom, and it goes right back to normal. So these are the um, my most unique and, you know, most innovative devices. You got the Fold that folds. You got the Mi 11 Ultra that has that secondary display, IR blaster, you know, such a versatile camera, things like that. And the super fast uh, wire charging, wireless charging and reverse wireless charging. And you have the LG wing that has a rotating display. These are all very unique. Of course, you got the Z Fold 3 and the Z Fold 4. But I'm just saying, like far as what I have was in front of me, these are the most unique and innovative devices in my arsenal. So thank you for taking the time to view this content. I'm, I, I do appreciate it. Sorry if I was kind of stumbling around with doing certain things. I've kind of been feeling kind of up and down today. But I thank you all that took the time to watch this whole video. And I do appreciate you. And just to let you all know, I will be giving away another smartphone once I reach 3,000 subscribers. So please subscribe. And you may be one of the lucky ones that will win a device from me. All right. You guys take care, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.